My name is Chris Richards. Uh, we're here in Curacao. I came here in 1961. The obvious choice as a hobby was uh, snorkeling first and then scuba diving. You can sit in 15, 20, 30 feet of water and spend an hour. Every time you look, something else moves. My name is Paul Finch. I'm from um, a little town called Tavistock. I've been coming to Curacao now for 10 or 12 years. I guess that really says it all because you don't go back to places you don't come to love. The shore diving is excellent. You know, you can take a truck and you go to any of the secluded beaches that are um, scattered around the island. My name's Whitney. I'm a dive instructor and I've been working here in Curacao for three years. In Curacao, diving is really relaxed. So that's probably one of my favorite things. Uh, you can show up to the beach, head in the water, stay for as long as you like, and then come back out, have a nice relaxed surface interval on a pretty beach. It's fun that you get to be a bit more relaxed about it. Curacao has all of the Caribbean reef creatures that you would hope to see. A lot of uh, small animals and a smattering of large ones as well. Every dive offers something different, that's for sure. The uh, boat diving down to the Curacao Marine Park is great. About six years ago, half of my leg was uh, amputated, which I thought would put a stop to a lot of my activities in the water, but it didn't hold me back, which indicates also the ease of diving in Curacao. The underwater marine life is absolutely amazing. My absolute favorite thing to see underwater here is a seahorse. They're hard to find, but it's always a special moment when you do happen to find one but they're just so cute, drifting back and forth with the movement to the water, hiding amongst the reef. The reef is really healthy here, and there's a few organizations uh, that get involved with helping take care of it as well. So my name is Trip Funderburk, and I'm the manager of the Reef Renewal Curacao Project. We are growing endangered staghorn and elkhorn corals and putting them back on the reef. This project started in 2015, and we've grown over the years. We've put 13,000 corals back on the reef. We take people to snorkel or do an informal nursery dive to learn about the project, help clean and do a tour. And we have a more formal PADI certification course. And our project is working and we're educating a lot of people. Come see us in Curacao and go diving and learn about coral restoration. Some of the top side uh, activities and interests include national parks. The museum Savonet was a long time ago a plantation and now it's a history museum and uh, that brings us closer to the people from the past. The Christoffel Park is a national park, the biggest park that we have here on the island. We want to invite you to the most unique part of Curacao, our Chete Boca. Chete Boca stands for seven inlets. But it's really more than seven. And we have two that's most popular. It's Boca Pistol and Boca Tabla. Curacao blends uh, excellent diving with a variety of topside activities. It also works for couples or families that um, have got divers and non-divers in their group. Downtown Curacao has been named a UNESCO heritage site. The culture, the history, beaches, there's something for everybody down here. The environment feels very safe.
side of the water, there's amazing restaurants for all different kinds of food that you might want to find. We're a bit too far south to get hit by any hurricanes, so the weather is amazing year round. It's either hot and wet or hot and dry, and that makes it really nice. I recommend it as a destination as a whole. It's ideal. There's not a bad time to be in Curacao. If you guys come down here, guaranteed a good time.